Right, blessings everyone. It's me, Tess Whitehurst, and it is Memorial Day, May 31st, 2021, and I am here with a reading from my Magic of Flowers Oracle for this week. So this week, Mercury is retrograde. It just went retrograde a couple of days ago, and our reading is so perfect and appropriate for Mercury retrograde. So first we have Datura, which is true motives. So for Monday, Tuesday, and the first part of Wednesday, look deeply at your intentions and at the motives behind your actions and your goals. Get clear on things. There is a portal now for us to see clearly something that we may have been hiding from ourselves. So this is also in alignment with eclipse season. So really, it, it's actually freeing when you move with this flow. People fight against Mercury retrograde, but when you move with the flow, there can be some amazing openings and portals to greater clarity. So think about that for today, tomorrow, first part of Wednesday, and then for Thursday, or second part of Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, we have Forget Me Not, which is fresh perspective. So this goes right along with looking deeply at our true motives. This is looking deeply at seeing things in a fresh way that may be liberating. And so it may be that things that you're experiencing now um, seem, can seem completely different to you if you look at them through fresh eyes. Look for blessings. Feel your feelings. Feel all your feelings all the time. But look for blessings. Look for reasons to feel grateful. What you focus on does expand. This does not mean that we should ignore our feelings, but it is true at the same time that when we look for blessings and we look for things to be grateful for, we will find them. So keep it in mind, just new ways of looking at things. Perfect again for Mercury Retrograde for the second half of the week. Then over the weekend, we have Hydrangea, which is restructure the pattern. All three of these ride in alignment with that flow. So if you haven't seen on TessWhitehurst.com and on my social media, I am doing a 25 day Mercury retrograde challenge. So for every day of Mercury retrograde, there's something easy you can do that will help you stay in that transformational flow. So I mentioned that, I was gonna mention that anyway, but it is so in alignment with all the cards that we get for this week. So to just consciously move with that flow that's already a restructuring transformational energy, be aware and look for ways that you can do that. So things like clearing clutter, things like doing a meditation where you look deeply at your motives, at your intentions, at your goals, where you open up to seeing them in new ways, you know? So, and, and like energy clearing, energy healing, any of those kinds of practices that are gonna help you transform patterns in your life. Keep an eye on those, think of those for the weekend. So yes, check out my Mercury Retrograde Challenge. Also, I have a brand new book, little book, mini book, called Little Guide to Money Magic which you can find now in paperback and on Kindle at TessWhitehurst.com and on Amazon. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a magical week.